It's time to get rid of those blocks to getting those good things you desire in your life. This is Abundance Fountain. I'm Miles and welcome to this episode. I'm going to be doing a voiceover on a segment of uh, Carol Look's work called General Clearing of Subconscious Blocks. This is going to be actually going through uh, Carol's EFT or Emotional Freedom Techniques that she uses in her practice to help her clients clear blocks to attracting abundance and success. Now, this episode is a follow-up to this same kind of material that I did in a previous episode. Okay, let's get started. General clearing of subconscious blocks. We're going to start with some EFT exercises that are quite general about having subconscious blocks. I assure you that just talking about subconscious blocks and programming and cellular memories and my asking you to think of the terms money and success are already bringing up different files in your mind. So you're already starting to percolate here. What we want to do is tap on words, issues, blocks, programs, memories that are getting in your way of being in complete alignment with what you want. Now, if any of you are unclear about what you want, write it down. Write it down right now in front of you. I want to double my salary. I want to get my book published. I want to be promoted. I want to have so much money that buying that big house that I saw last month is no problem. I want a body that looks like this. I want a relationship that looks like this. So remember, while we're talking primarily about financial abundance and success, all of these tapping sequences can be applied and directed towards other areas of your life. So a general clearing will sound something like this. Even though I have some subconscious blocks to attracting success and abundance, and what I'd like you to do is say that statement out loud, I must have some subconscious blocks to attracting abundance. And how true does that feel to you on the 0 to 10 point scale? Does that resonate with you? Does that feel like a yes? Even though you may not be able to identify them, this is a fabulous way to start the tapping. So say out loud, I must have some subconscious blocks to attracting abundance. How true does that feel? And how uncomfortable do you feel with that? How much does it resonate? On a 0 to 10 point scale, 10 is as high as it can be. Some of you are going to be so uncomfortable, and this is good. I know it doesn't feel right, but this is good because it means we're bringing up the issues that we're going to clear. And some of you will say, well, I think I do, so I think it's right. It's only about a four. And that's fine because what we need to do is tap on the assumption and the knowledge. Remember, your subconscious mind knows everything, has all the memories stored there of every day of your life. So that's where we need to access, and that's what we're doing with the EFT clearing. So you have your number, and let's get started. And be my echo again, following along with me. I start on the karate chop point. I'll do that setup statement three times before I tap on the points on the face and body. And I'll narrate so you know exactly where I'm tapping. Now remember the karate chop point is the outside edge of the hand left or right hand, directly below your pinky fingers. Let's start. And tapping on the left karate chop point with your right fingers, say, even though I must have some subconscious blocks to attracting abundance, I accept who I am anyway. Even though it's true, I must have some subconscious blocks to attracting abundance, I accept who I am and how I feel. Even though I know for sure that I have some subconscious blocks and old patterns to attracting success I want, I choose to let go of these patterns now. Good, so that's the setup statement, three times. 
Then we go to the eyebrow point and tap on the eyebrow. Tapping on the eyebrow, say, I must have some subconscious blocks to attracting abundance. I must have some subconscious blocks to attracting abundance. I must have some subconscious blocks to attracting abundance. Good. Okay, let's move to the side of the eye. Tapping there and say, I know that I have subconscious blocks to attracting success and abundance. I know that I have subconscious blocks to attracting success and abundance. I know that I have subconscious blocks to attracting success and abundance. Good. Okay, let's move to under the eye and tapping there say, and my subconscious mind knows that I have these blocks. And my subconscious mind knows that I have these blocks. And my subconscious mind knows that I have these blocks. Okay, good. Now let's move to the point under the nose and tapping there say, I must have subconscious blocks and old patterns that block attracting abundance. I must have subconscious blocks and old patterns that block attracting abundance. I must have subconscious blocks and old patterns that block attracting abundance. Good. Okay, let's move to the chin and tapping on the chin, say, I'm sure I have subconscious blocks to attracting abundance. I'm sure I have subconscious blocks to attracting abundance. I'm sure I have subconscious blocks to attracting abundance. Excellent. Let's move to the collarbone. Tapping on the collarbone, say, I just can feel it in my body that I have subconscious blocks to attracting what I want in my life. I just can feel it in my body that I have subconscious blocks to attracting what I want in my life. I just can feel it in my body that I have subconscious blocks to attracting what I want in my life. Good. Now, moving to under the arm, and at that point, tapping and say, it's been so frustrating for me. It's been so frustrating for me. It's been so frustrating for me. All right, good. Now let's move to the top of the head and tapping on top of the head, say, I know I have subconscious blocks to attracting what I want. I know I have subconscious blocks to attracting what I want. I know I have subconscious blocks to attracting what I want. Good. Now take a deep breath and go back to the eyebrow. Tapping on the eyebrow, say, I know I have subconscious blocks to attracting what I want in my life. I know I have subconscious blocks to attracting what I want in my life. I know I have subconscious blocks to attracting what I want in my life. Good. Let's move to the side of the eye, tapping there and say, I must have subconscious blocks because look at my life. I must have subconscious blocks because look at my life. I must have subconscious blocks because look at my life. Okay. Now let's go to under the eye again, tapping under the eye and say, all these general old patterns of blocking abundance. All these general old patterns of blocking abundance. All these general old patterns of blocking abundance. Excellent. Let's move to under the nose and tapping on the point under the nose, say, I wonder where they come from. I wonder where they come from. I wonder where they come from. Good. Let's move to the chin. Tapping on the chin. Say, all I know is that they're there. 
All I know is that they're there. All I know is that they're there. Perfect. Okay, let's move to the collarbone point. Tapping on the collarbone. Say, I can feel these blocks. I can feel these blocks. I can feel these blocks. Okay. Under the arm. Tapping on the point under the arm. Say, I don't know exactly what they are consciously. I don't know exactly what they are consciously. I don't know exactly what they are consciously. Excellent. Okay, back to the top of the head. Tapping on the top of the head. Say, but I know they're there. But I know they're there. But I know they're there. Okay, very good. Let's move to the eyebrow. Tapping on the eyebrow. Say, these remaining subconscious blocks to attracting what I want. These remaining subconscious blocks to attracting what I want. These remaining subconscious blocks to attracting what I want. Okay, good. Move to the side of the eye. And tapping there, say, but I want it so badly. But I want it so badly. But I want it so badly. Good. Now let's move under the eye. And tapping under the eye, say, I keep doing what's right to get it. I keep doing what's right to get it. I keep doing what's right to get it. Excellent. Let's move under the nose. Tapping on the point under the nose. Say, so my blocks can't be conscious. So my blocks can't be conscious. So my blocks can't be conscious. Good. Now, to the chin. Tapping on the chin. Say, my blocks must be in my subconscious. My blocks must be in my subconscious. My blocks must be in my subconscious. Good. Move to the collarbone. Tapping on the collarbone and say, and that's okay. And that's okay. And that's okay. Excellent. Let's move under the arm. Tapping under the arm and say, I appreciate my subconscious mind. I appreciate my subconscious mind. I appreciate my subconscious mind. Very good. Let's move to the top of the head. Tapping on the top of the head. Say, for what it's been trying to do to me. For what it's been trying to do to me. For what it's been trying to do to me. Good. Now, back to the eyebrow. Tapping on the eyebrow and say, My subconscious mind has been trying to protect me. My subconscious mind has been trying to protect me. My subconscious mind has been trying to protect me. Excellent. And to the side of the eye, tapping there, we say, that's why it keeps these patterns running. That's why it keeps these patterns running. That's why it keeps these patterns running. Good. Move to the point under the eye and tapping under the eye. Say, so I thank my subconscious mind. So I thank my subconscious mind. So I thank my subconscious mind. Excellent. Now, under the nose, tapping under the nose, say, for trying to protect me, for trying to protect me, for trying to protect me. Good. And to the chin, tapping on the chin, say, thank you, subconscious mind. Thank you, subconscious mind. Thank you, subconscious mind. And to the collarbone, tapping on the collarbone, say, I understand that you thought it wasn't safe to get what I want. I understand that you thought it wasn't safe to get what I want. 
I understand that you thought it wasn't safe to get what I want. Great, okay, and under the arm, tapping under the arm and say, but I'm accessing your programming now. But I'm accessing your programming now. But I'm accessing your programming now. Good, and to the top of the head, tapping on the top of the head and say, so I can release all of these subconscious patterns to blocking success and abundance. So I can release all these subconscious patterns to blocking success and abundance. So I can release all these subconscious patterns to blocking success and abundance. Good. Take a deep breath. Good. Now go back to the eyebrow. Tapping on the eyebrow and say, it feels so good to let them go. It feels so good to let them go. It feels so good to let them go. And to the side of the eye and tapping the side of the eye, it feels so good to acknowledge my subconscious mind. It feels so good to acknowledge my subconscious mind. It feels so good to acknowledge my subconscious mind. Excellent. And now we move under the eye and tapping under the eye and say, it feels so right to acknowledge that it was trying to help me. It feels so right to acknowledge that it was trying to help me. It feels so right to acknowledge that it was trying to help me. Very good. And now let's move under the nose and tapping under the nose and say, it feels so right to acknowledge my subconscious mind. It feels so right to acknowledge my subconscious mind. It feels so right to acknowledge my subconscious mind. Good. Now, on the chin, tapping on the chin and say, it was trying to protect me. It was trying to protect me. It was trying to protect me. Great. And now let's move to the collarbone and say, tapping on the collarbone and say, because that's the programming it had. Because that's the programming it had. Because that's the programming it had. And now move under the arm and tapping under the arm and say, I appreciate my subconscious mind. I appreciate my subconscious mind. I appreciate my subconscious mind. Excellent. Now to the top of the head and tapping on top of the head and say, and I'm going to give it new programming as I release the old patterns that block success and abundance. And I'm going to give it new programming as I release the old patterns that block success and abundance. And I'm going to give it new programming as I release the old patterns that block success and abundance. Great. Take a deep breath. Now, go back again to the original sentence. I must have some subconscious blocks to attracting abundance. How does that feel to you now? Is the charge still as high? Maybe we released some of the tension around that. Maybe we released some of the truth about that. I know for me, even that phrasing, which I've done before on myself, felt wonderful. Acknowledging, thank you. Thank you, subconscious mind. You were trying to do what was right for me in your opinion, based on the programming that you've been given. So this is a wonderful way to start out this entire series by talking to your subconscious mind, saying, I know you thought you were protecting me. Thank you very much. And now we're going to give you new patterns, new programs. The old ones were useful at some time, but not anymore. For those of you who really got a strong drop in your number from that particular phrasing, I would go back and do it again. And remember, even the statements and what I'm saying to you before and after you're doing the tapping is very effective because I'm really addressing your subconscious mind. I'm talking about how it works, how it's protected you, talking about the difference between the conscious and subconscious mind. So all of this material is helping you and supporting you and strengthening you to become more in alignment with what you've chosen in your life. Now some of you, with that first clearing and the first EFT sequence, you may have been thinking specifically of financial abundance. Some of you may have been thinking of a particular success, something to you that feels like success. When you get there, it will be successful. 
Others of you are thinking about your body and your health and your weight or relationships. It's fine. What you can do is go back now and listen again with a different topic in mind. That's why this program is so useful for everybody. You can use it again and again. We all have subconscious blocks to getting what we want or else we'd be there. And our blocks, remember, can be feelings, fear, guilt, resentment, worthlessness issues. They can be around events that happened about success or they can have those symptoms in our body, tension, insecurity, pain, that show up as a result of much conflict around success. Okay, as I had mentioned in the introduction, that was a complimentary tapping session to an episode that I had uh, produced previously. So if you want to check out that episode and another related episode, just go in the description below the video here. You'll see some links there. You can click on those. Again, I'd like to thank Carol for making possible this information. It's been working for so many people on so many different areas uh, in their lives. Uh, you can find a considerably larger amount of uh, programs and in-depth training, uh, again, in the description below the video of Carol's work. So if you really want to max out uh, the benefit of EFT, I encourage you to check out those links. Um, I hope you're finding the work here and the uh, episodes here at Abundance Fountain valuable and shareable with your friends and acquaintances. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, uh, please do so. You'll see the big red subscribe button. Uh, word button down below in the, in the uh, description is again uh, go ahead click on that please subscribe click on the notification bell and you'll get an alert each time I put out a new video uh, once again such an honor for me to be working on Abundance Fountain bringing this valuable empowering and life-changing information and episodes to you continue to tune in lots more planned thanks again and until next time Take very good care.